Hey guys, Creek Stewart here with WillowhavenOutdoor.com. Sorry you're not going to see my pretty face in this video. Uh, but I'm going to let you know about an awesome fishing tip that I learned years ago as a young boy from my grandpa in Kentucky. The plant you're looking at right now, it's called giant ragweed. Um, some of you may also know it as horseweed, which is what we've called it growing up my whole life. And it actually offers you some of the best live bait that you can possibly find. And my grandpa always called this live bait horseweed worms. So what you're looking for throughout the summer on horseweed plants is an area up the stem. You can see there's the normal stem and then you can see right there in that area where it's all swollen. And then uh, we'll see if we can't find another one around here that's got, and here we go right here, right there is another one where you see it's all swollen. And you can tell there is just there's something just not quite right about that plant. Well, as I'm going to show you here in a few seconds, when you carve into that swollen area, there is a larvae that makes its home in there and eats the inside pith of that horseweed plant throughout the summer. So I'm going to show you how to access that uh, that larvae and extract what we call horseweed worms. So here we go. I've got some uh, some of these horseweed, some of these giant ragweeds cut, and so I can show you how to extract these uh, these larvae out of here. Um, some of them have larvae and some of them don't, but all I do is I just take and carve a thin layer off, and you can see right there inside there is some of the best live bait that you're ever gonna find that little that little guy right there Sam alright so moving on to our next one here these are perfect for panfish or bluegill just little uh, pop them on a hook drop them in with a bobber let's see if we got one in here you never know sometimes you see them and Sometimes you don't. You can certainly see that one has been in there eating out that pith. So we're just going to continue on up the plant here and see if he's in here. Nope, not one here. But you can certainly see where there was one. Let's try this other one here. This one looks pretty promising. Oh, score! Look at Big Daddy. Come on. Oh, man. Big time score. See him in there? He ain't gonna want to come out. There's our bait. A much bigger. Whoa, holy mackerel. Look at that guy, man. I tell you what, this is like fish food delicacy. If you have the opportunity and there are horseweeds, horseweed is such a common plant, giant ragweed is such a common plant, you'll find it anywhere. They grow like a weed anywhere around all different kinds of areas in the country. Definitely give this a shot for your next fishing venture, survival, or just regular, you know, whatever kind of fishing you need. It's definitely a secret that very few people know um, you know I just looked at probably a dozen horseweed plants here and found five or six that had that swollen area um, so I'm actually gonna bait a gouge a primitive gouge that I just made and I'll show you what I'm gonna do and uh, we're gonna bait it with this big mama right here okay so I'm just gonna show you really quick the gouge I carved, it's about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch long. Just a little piece of uh, little piece of wood sharpened on both ends. And uh, definitely a primitive style fish hook. Uh, the concept is you bait your, bait your hook like this, bait your gouge like this. You pull on the line when you feel a tug. The gouge turns and gouges itself, wedges itself in the fish's throat. Um, allowing you a brief second to pull it ashore. 
success rate on something like this is much, much less than if you're using a modern hook, uh, but it's certainly an option for you in a survival situation. Uh, what I'm using for line here is just a piece of, uh, um, of the inner bark that I've stripped off of a slippery elm. It's about 36 inches or so, and I'm just going to use this as a drop line um, off the edge into the creek over here to see if we see if we get any, have any luck. Oh, that's a little nasty. But there we go. We got him still wiggling around a little bit. Um, we got him on the gouge, and this is a fish delicacy. We're going to go drop this in and see if we get any luck. Okay, so there we go. There's our horseweed giant ragworm larvae there on the end. On our gouge, we've got our slippery elm bark. I went ahead and tied on a little pebble right there on the, on the, on the, on the line to help it sink. And we're just going to see. It's not going in very deep, but we'll see if we get lucky. Well, I've been out here for about an hour now. I've had several, several bites. Um, I've actually replaced my grub about uh, three or four times. Um, haven't been able to pull one in. Most of them were just little ones nibble on it, nibbling on it because I'm really close to the shore here. But uh, the whole point of the video was to show you how to get at, um, how to find those giant ragweed larvae that dig themselves into that stalk. Uh, because it is an excellent um, live bait option for just regular fishing and for survival. So I hope you've enjoyed that quick tip, and we'll talk to you next time.